have, have you, how have you seen the kind of the confidence level of this team grow as this season's gone on? A lot of young guys. Yeah, we're playing a lot of young guys, uh, freshmen and sophomores, especially our skill positions. So uh, from game one to our last game, you can really see them be more confident in themselves and what they're doing on the field. Uh, and that's helping us achieve more success on the field for sure. Other than the personnel change the last couple of games, what kind of change have you seen from the offensive line from that, those first four games? Have you given up you know, a few more sacks per game? I'd say better communication. And then you know, with any O-line, I think every offensive line in the country plays better toward the end of the season than they do in the beginning of the season just because you have more cohesion, uh, more communication, and uh, you can really work with the guys next to you better uh, the more snaps you, t more snaps you play together. You talked about the, uh, the skill guys, and given that a lot of them have only played six games in their careers, how much better can this offense get? Yeah, I think uh, you know, we, we can be as, uh, as good as we want to be. Uh, especially a receiver, you know, we've got a lot of young talent there, uh, and those guys continue to improve and make plays. Guys like Kyle Davis and uh, Nate Craig have really impressed me. So uh, the more we can utilize them and uh, help them balance with our older guys at receiver, I think the better our offense can be. Coach Malzahn said he, the decision on who all was going to start is not going to come until later this week. But how confident are you that whether it's Austin at center or Xavier at center that you know that you guys can perform? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we've got six really good players. Uh, Darius has really stepped up uh, when he's gotten his opportunity here the past couple weeks. So, uh, you know, we're going to have a good hard week of practice. And uh, Coach Malzahn and Coach Han and Coach Lashley all make the best decision for the team. And uh, I think we're ready to roll with whoever's in there. Yeah, I mean, Sean uh, never quit. I mean, I, I think it was, I think we had three straight incompletions. And then on fourth down, we finally got that first down. And then he threw another shot to get us in field goal range. So uh, Sean will play to the final whistle. And uh, he's a gamer for sure. You know, during the summer, uh, Arkansas was definitely one of the games we focused on as a team. A lot of those games, actually, you know, Georgia, Ole Miss, all those games we lost kind of uh, by one score, you know, Mississippi State, too. So that was kind of one of our messages during the summer is finish games like that, you know, find a way to put ourselves over the edge and uh, win those games. But, you know, every, every, uh, every season is a new season. They're a different team than they were last year, and we're a different team than we were last year. So... Uh, they're going to give us our their best shot, and uh, you know we're going to be we're going to be ready. When you go up uh, when you go up against a team like Arkansas that really dominates time of possession, how, how how important is it for you guys to make the most of your possessions? It's definitely important. Um, you know when they get the ball and start the game, and you look and you get it for the first time, and half the first quarter is over, uh, you know you really realize that. So we need to make the most of every possession and. Uh, hopefully our defense can uh, step up and not let them control the game clock like that. What have you seen from their defensive front? They've had some problems getting that big plays in the run, but what have you seen the last couple of weeks from them? I think they're solid up front. Uh, their D tackles are solid. Uh, Johnson and uh, Ledbetter, and then uh, Dietrich Wise is one of the best pass rushers in the league, so we're going to have to account for him. Uh, they've got talent up there. Uh, you know, They're an SEC team. Every team in the SEC has a great defensive line. Um, I'd say from the second drive on, uh, the first drive they came out and uh, they got that interception. So, you know, you're kind of feeling out your opponent, you know, kind of trading jabs, so to say, that uh, that first series. But that second series, once we got the ball rolling and marched right down the field, uh, I think everybody felt that it was going to be a pretty good, solid day for us. How has Darius James performed these last two weeks? I think uh, very well. Uh, as a run blocker, he's done uh, – you know, better than I expected. And then uh, as a pass blocker, he's been solid. I don't think he's given up uh, any sacks or anything like that. So uh, Darius has really been focusing uh, on improving during practice, and that's kind of allowed him to play better in the games. I've heard stories about him in high school and at Texas. People close to him said that he wasn't a great practice player, but whenever he got on the field, he was completely different. Is that kind of what's happened here a little bit? 
Yeah, I, mean, I couldn't. I didn't know him in high school, so I don't. I mean, what about here? Here as a practice player, uh, he's improved since spring, and he's uh, focusing on becoming a better player. All right. Thanks, Alex. Yeah. Thanks, sir.